In their first face-to-face -face encounter, incumbent John Warner and challenger Mark Warner each had a specific image and message to project. For Mark Warner, it's the young, energetic newcomer. For John Warner, the mature, experienced statesman. They complimented each other often, even sometimes poked fun at themselves. For the challenger, the job was to show how he's different, but the incumbent was ready to exploit any opening. Mark Warner said to the press in 1990 he voted for John Warner for the United States Senate. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> As for Mark Warner, he was quick to deflect criticism that he's used too much of his personal wealth. I haven't had one single person say to me, gosh, Mark, I wish you wouldn't put so much of your own money into this campaign. And he challenged John Warner to total how much he's spent on his previous campaigns. You add that all up, come back to me with a total. I got a pretty good idea of what it is, and I'll shake your hand right now, but I won't spend any more than that. <laughs> I'll give you a high five, not that. <laughs> and after the debate comes the spin, as both candidates try to show why they won the debate. In this case, though, they both could be right. Each side got much of what they wanted. In Hot Springs, John Haggerty, News Channel 6.